Thanks for liking and subscribing, and now that you have, what's up everybody? You know who it is. It's your favorite Geekly Goods crew. Dang, my slide was not as good. <laughs> I, I feel like I was born to slide things across tables. Dude, apparently so. Look, it that's, didn't even reach. Didn't work so well. Oh, that's all right, goodness. that's all right. But we're here today to review MIB International. Yes. Yeah, Men, I, Men in Black, the fourth, yeah, the fourth, the fourth. movie in the yeah, series. Yeah, the fourth. And, uh, uh, starring Tessa Thompson and Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, man. Um, directed by F. Gary Gray. Really cool bringing in a fresh director this time. It's interesting. I mean, it was yeah. the same guy the last three movies. Yep. Yeah. And and this, you know, he comes off of what? Straight out of Compton. Yeah, it's man. It's a little bit different. Friday. I mean, Friday, he's... Like, it's a little bit of a, a little turn, bit of turn for, for him, sure. And which is nice. I thought it would have been cool <laughs> to. Okay, I'm diving way into the weeds. <laughs> I thought it would have been cool to at least include Will Smith. I make this look good. Look, I mean, yeah, so, no, uh, going right to the spoiler yeah. thing. Yeah. If you were hoping for a cameo by Will Smith, doesn't happen. It doesn't no. happen. Sorry. Not even Tommy Lee Jones, not even no. Blitz Statch. You know what I will say, though? I, I When I was watching it, I wanted it, but now that I think about it more, I kind of like that they're like, nope, this is a fresh start. This is not, uh, this isn't Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones anymore. This is a. That, yeah, that's fair. They're starting a new franchise out fresh, of Fresh, for sure. Um, and for the franchise, Tessa Thompson and Chris Hemsworth. Mm -hmm. What do you think of them? You know, I like these two actors a lot. Yeah. And I really enjoy Tessa Thompson's performance, actually. Uh huh. But I thought Chris Hemsworth acts pretty typical. Chris Hemsworth, and there was really no big reason why. Yeah. Um, he was just kind of. A goofy jerk, just because. Yeah, it's kind of like a an asshole playboy. Yeah, very one note, and I was like, oh, I, it's not like I haven't seen this character before, right. and there was no rhyme or reason for why he was being that way. Right, and it I just mean, didn't it, go any. He didn't go anywhere. The like the reckless, cocky. This is kind of a standard trope in these movies, where like I work alone and I'm out like doing the thing that I want to mm -hmm. do. I don't play by the rules. Right. But usually, like, usually. Uh, when you get to that, you make the turn at the end and say, like, and now I, I'm changing, and this is why I was that way, mm -hmm. and now that we resolve that issue. So they don't really... There's not really don't go so far a big there. resolve yeah. with either character, I would honestly say, because I think it was a little bit weak for them to start out Tessa Thompson's character as, like, 100% perfect. Because yeah. there was really no hike for her to climb. Yeah, I mean, here's an interesting thing, is, like, they essentially skip over the whole training sequence. Yeah, that we got in the first so, one. Which was, again, <laughs> like, funny. I understand that, like, they're trying to do a dip, like, this is a new one. We don't need to see the training stuff we did with the other people. Like, this is brand new. We're in, but at the same time, it's like, they literally condensed her training yeah. down to Emma Thompson, not Tessa Thompson, uh, looking at a score, and it's like, 90, 97, 95, yeah, like, like she's straight across the board just overnight. Just crushing it. Like yeah. it wasn't even like she started off bad and over through a montage you see her scores improving. It's like, no, she just, she nailed it. Other than the accents, like this all felt the exact same. It did. And it was like, if you're going to start new, like start new, like really go there. Yeah, and it just felt like same old MIB universe was, with some new faces, yeah. really. And speaking of characters, what'd you think of Liam Neeson? If his job, if he was supposed to carry the movie, stellar, or at least like shining performances from Tessa Thompson and Chris Hemsworth, I don't think it really, it certainly didn't help him. No. If he was the third coolest character in this movie, I'm fine with everything he did. Mm -hmm. But the fact that he's kind of the coolest character. Yeah. He's like top dog. He's like, yeah. they bring him in and he's the most decorated. He's high T well, is his, I'm also is like, his code name. Can we stop with the most decorated? Like Tommy Lee Jones was the most decorated. Yeah. And then Will Smith was the most decorated. And they even had that painting of them and their right. like legendary Men in Black 2 so battle. It's, it's kind of one of those where I'm like, how many highly deck like right. can we stop using that as a, a thing? <laughs> highly like, decorated. No one has medals. There are there's no like men in black like dress coat with medals on it. Nah, like, man. We're talking about decorated. There's right. No, there's no awards. There was this kind of weird overlap of well, the American Men in Black was totally its own thing, and we're not gonna Apparently we're not so. gonna like reference that or think about what we said in that mo those movies. But now, just look over to the international one, mm -hmm. and it's we're gonna repeat the things, but just not do it as well. 
Uh, and you bring up a very great point because I kind of just wanted to segue into the story. Yes. You know, it's very, there's a lot of missed opportunities here. Oh, wow. And 100%. you know, this is, and, and while I do really respect creating a fresh franchise essentially off of one that's already there, yeah. I would love to see some franchise favorites that I got really attached to from at least the first two. Something. I mean, we got Agent O from three. Emma Thompson. Yeah. But she, I mean, it was a very forgettable role in yeah. three. Yeah. So and also in this big. movie, she's in yeah. it for maybe four minutes. N like, four I didn't even tops. want to give her, I didn't even want to give her the full five. Yeah, man. Like, I mean, I mean, we didn't get Josh Brolin, no, Tommy Lee Jones, yeah. no Will Smith. I mean, I, they even look, start, I they even the start painting. in New York. Yeah. And it would have been easy logistically in the sense of the movie. I mean, obviously, who knows what actors' schedules or money or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it would have been easy logistically to have Josh Brolin step in. Yeah, and that would have some been some kind a, of flashback, my talk, some, something. Something like some sort of connected tissue between the two. And I guess Emma Thompson. I forgot until literally right now. I forgot that she was in the third movie at all. <laughs> yeah, so I actually had to go deep for like, that one. Oh right. Yep. So I guess that's our like connectivity. But but man, that's not know. from the first two. And I thought. I thought maybe Tessa Thompson's character was going to be somehow related to Will Smith and there would be some kind of mention, you know, oh, well, this Men in Black thing sounds kind of familiar, but I don't really or know about it. And my they uncle figure out who she is. My uncle disappeared right. 10 years ago. Yeah. And, like, we've never heard, never from, heard him. from him again. Something. It, it seems like there could have been something there. Although you run into these traps where it's like that gets too cutesy. Yeah. And then it's, all, it's it's hard to... Basically, what, what I'm hearing from you is that we want a little bit more substance a and depth. A little bit more substance, more depth, and, and just give me some of that fanfare. Yeah. Like, this is the fourth one. Look, if it was the first, second, whatever. A little bit of fanfare. Yeah. You built a whole Kick trilogy. It. Kick it up a little yeah, bit. You yeah, you built a whole trilogy off of this. And then um, I wanted to just talk briefly about the villains. Yeah, or almost really lack thereof. Yeah, like yeah. pretty big villain problem, I would say. It's, it's funny because uh, they do this cool thing. There's these twins that are chasing Tessa and Chris around, right? And they're pretty great. They look cool. Yeah. They have cool powers. They're, it's interesting, but you don't ever, they're just kind of these silent pursuers. You don't really know why. Don't ever learn a detail about right. what they are. They kind of serve a purpose in that they need, they need to chase the men in black. Yeah. And that's all they kind of do. Um, they're, they're just, yeah, they're... They're just there. They're I really, literally pasted in the movie. Yeah, so it's kind of this, they're always around, they somehow always find them. It's this weird thing of like, how? Right. Like, give us What's going some on? sort of details. The first movie with the, the bug alien mm -hmm. did such a great job of creating this character that is from another world and you have these really interesting interactions where he's wearing the skin suit and it's kind of gross and weird but then also like really, really fascinating cool. and yeah. cool and this is just like all right it's cool to look at the fight scenes are okay but like but why <laughs> and they were the pretty much the best thing to look at yeah in this movie i would say i mean maybe the the, I know a couple other things were the, cool. The end was kind of cool. Yeah, but like the cre the aliens and the creatures in this movie, kind of dumbed down. Like and also a little bit forgotten. Yeah, like we don't get a lot of them, and they're not that impressive looking. No, um, no. Connie, the kind of main alien ragtag partner. Come on, on Johnny. Yeah, come on, on Johnny. Which not, I, I he's have funny. Say, he's funny. He gives some very nice comedic relief. Yeah. Um, he, it's, <laughs> he actually it's, helped the movie for me. He though. definitely helped the movie a lot. Yeah. Uh, without him, it's really bland. Really dry. Uh, but yeah, his design is nothing special. He's this big, so <laughs> looks like a PS4 character. Well, right, and you, and you can do this thing. It's interesting because you can do this thing where you put it in Tessa Thompson's pocket mm -hmm. or on her shoulder, and he's in the scene. But you never see anything from him. Yeah. He never gets more than that. Like, even with the cat in the first one, there's, like, a purpose with the, the thing. And, like, yeah, I don't universe. know. The whole universe. It's just kind of... Look, I, I think <laughs> the underlying point of this whole thing is that this movie... There's nothing bad. No. There's, there's nothing... Not, it's not a dumpster fire by Oh, no. But it's also nothing really good. No. Like, 
it's it's a hard honestly i'm kind of the more i think about it i'm kind of impressed that they like this is a like grayscale movie they I, i've never seen i don't know that i've seen any time recently a movie that so perfectly hits middle of the road boilerplate safe if you if you google playing a safe movie this is gonna this, come up yeah it should they, the, it's, it's there's no there's there's not even any like risque humor like they don't even or roles. Uh, I mean, there's a mole in MIB, and you surprise, know who it is. Didn't we do that every other right. movie? Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty yeah. sure there's always been a mole in MIB. Right. It's so it's this weird thing where you walk out. Like when we walked out of this movie last night, we were both kind of like, not yeah. bad. Like yeah, but... we we did just go see a movie. Yeah, we definitely it saw a movie just felt in there, like... but. You were sitting through something and it just played in front of you and that yeah. was really it? I mean... If, if I hadn't been like expressly told 30 times before the screening like to not check my phone, there's a decent chance I would have slipped yeah. up and accidentally checked my phone. Because the... Yeah. It's just so boring. I mean... Yeah. And I don't even want to call it, it completely boring, but... Again, there's nothing Blank. exciting. There's no twist. Blank. You had a there's great, nothing, you had a great metaphor. No this is a plain chicken breast, well, with, well cooked, w- but it's fine, just not seasoned. But maybe some salt on it, but nothing else. Like I wouldn't even give it no salt. You're gonna eat it because it's there, but. Uh, but you, are you gonna enjoy it? I, I, and I, ser- it I and certainly love it. wouldn't pay for it. That movie overall. All right, rating. Back, back to MIB. Rating? Yeah, um, out of ten. I mean, look, it's a six and a half. Uh, it's certainly passing. There's nothing egregious. Nope. Um, but I was never really that excited during the movie. There were no no eye popping visuals, no huge comedy. But you think in 2019, you know, coming from Avengers Endgame and even Dark Phoenix, there would be some eye right. popping, jaw dropping. There's, there's a standard, and this didn't hit it. It again, it didn't fail. It played very safe, mm-hmm. but look, a safe play is going to get you a safe rating. So, six and a half, and not a strong six and a half. Oh, man, I'm going a solid six. Yeah, and, you know, it, it definitely just has to do with the fact that no jaw-dropping effects, nope. no fanfare, no fanfare, no ref, no, not really any references from the last one. You bring in one character that is from the third one. For two seconds. For a couple minutes yeah. on screen. That's not enough for me. Not even no Men in Black theme. Nothing. Like, yeah. we didn't get anything from that previous series. Just dipped into here. And also, Tessa Thompson and Chris Hemsworth loved you guys in Thor Ragnarok. What happened to that energy? Seriously. I was really expecting that here, especially with what I saw from the trailers. But I didn't get it. Get, I didn't get, get some get cups of coffee from these guys. Yeah. Like, get them a Red Bull. Like, let's Especially Tessa. Get it, like, pump them up. Are they? Did they want to be in the movie? <laughs> like, I'm kind of questioning it? if they wanted to be. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Man. But you guys let us know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, are you seeing Men in Black International? And if you have, please let us know what you think about it. Did you think it was as bland as us or maybe even better? Guys, we'll see you next time on Geekly Goods. Be sure to like. Subscribe and follow Geekly Goods on all social media platforms and grab something from our store. We take $1 of every purchase and donate it to arts education to keep arts in the classrooms. We'll see you next time.